Today we're going to take the cover off and I'm going to show you two jobs which are fairly um, easy jobs to do on the watt bike if you're relatively mechanically minded. One is to tighten up the magnetic resistance system and one is to quickly change the chain. So I've undone the bodywork here which involves removing these Allen bolts on these covers at the top on both sides. First, that allows you to move them out of the way, take them off. I've then undone all the Allen bolts on the top stem and on the remaining parts of the bodywork. This will allow the bodywork to come off, but the key part is this, so is the magnetic knob. So I've removed the sticker off here just by putting a knife underneath it. That can be replaced or just pack, put back on with a bit of super glue afterwards. I've wound the knob right out in order to loosen off the Allen bolt that's inside there. This will then lift out. I can take the Allen bolt out for later and then I use the profile of the magnetic knob to wind it all the way back in to the watt bike and that allows the cover to come off. I put the pedal at 8 o'clock and then the watt bike cover will just come off like so. It does have to go through the pedal which is a bit of a faff but there we are. Okay, next job when we're the magnetic resistance these can come a little bit loose so this one you turn it like that with the knob put the allen key in one of these small grub screws there's one on either side one will do and then merely adjust this clockwise until you reach the desired tension shouldn't take much and that's that job done now to change the chain two things we have to do this is not a tensioner the chains do stretch occasionally and you get a rough ride so We'll remove this, which is a guide, not a tensioner. So we simply remove it like this. It has this felt band around it, which can get quite worn out. So we will replace that, making sure that we put the replacement felt belt back in the same place. So approximately there. To gather a little bit of oil. And we remove the chain like that. New chains are stainless steel, so do last a little bit longer. We just get our chain ready to go, which we should have done earlier. Put it on over the front cog, over the chain ring at the back. We just want to snap the resistance there. Turn the chain on. Now we've got to replace our little guide. Make sure there's a washer on both sides of it big washer on the bike side this goes into here now what we're trying to do we don't want to put the watt bike chain under tension this is the important part so we want to just we tighten it up just a little bit just a tiny bit and then you'll see it goes this way around you'll see that the, the chain goes under load when we load it up like that pulls on the bottom and the top droops so at that point of droop we want to set this chain guide so that there's about two to three millimeters of clear air underneath there and that will run fine and that's the change and the tightening of the magnetic resistance.